Good nutrition during cancer treatment can help people get through their treatments feeling stronger and more energized. It can also help to prevent infection and improve recovery. Not getting enough calories and protein during treatments can lead to weight loss. This may lead to treatment being put on hold or not being given at all. But it can be difficult to eat well during treatment because of treatment side effects. Today we're cooking with Helen Amenta. She's not only a Princess Margaret volunteer, she's a cancer survivor and a regular attendee of the Elixir Kitchen cooking classes. Helen, can you share a little bit of your cancer journey with us? Yeah, well I've had gone through 12 years of a cancer journey. I've had um, two years of um, being well and so far everything is okay. Excellent. And you've been a volunteer at the Princess Market for nine years. Yeah. And so how did you come to find Elixir? Well, I, because I volunteer for survivorship program, um, when it started up and then they said we're going to have an Elixir kitchen, so I started to visit the Elixir kitchen. And that's because you and love to cook? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you come? I came because I found out that you could cook very fast meals in little time. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so during treatment, what were some of the challenges that you faced with cooking? I had nausea, smells, mm -hmm. and taste buds were all off. Mm -hmm. What was your appetite like when you were on treatment? It was non non-existent, so. Is it difficult to get enough of the energy and the nutritious food that you need? Yeah. So what types of meals did you go to? Smoothie. Smoothies, we love smoothies. Yeah. Smoothies are such a great way to really pack lots of nutrition into a glass. Yeah. And like you were saying with not having a good appetite, you can just sip on a smoothie mm -hmm. as long as you include you know, a balance of but, foods, it's like a meal replacement. Yeah. And you don't have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen mm -hmm. when you're feeling tired, tired and you don't have to deal with cooking smells. Yeah. So, so. You can see why you would pick a smoothie. Yeah, and I like this one because it's, uh, it had blueberry and it seemed to give me more energy. This is a delicious smoothie that you shared with us and now we're gonna share with everybody else. Okay. So let's start. Okay, so for this recipe, we're gonna use one and a half cups of milk. We're gonna put in one and a half cups of baby spinach, one cup of frozen blueberries, and you can use fresh blueberries too, uh, one banana, a pinch of cardamom, and one tablespoon of maple syrup, or we can use honey. All right, so let's get started. Okay. We're just gonna add everything into this blender, right? Okay. All right. Okay. So blueberries. It's okay. No, oh, it's, it's lost. It's no. like, you know, bananas. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna sweeten it up. And if you wanna boost the calories, you could always add more of the maple syrup or honey. And we're gonna put. So that's our pinch of cardamom. I yeah. love that you're putting some spices in here yeah. to help with the taste changes, boost up the flavor. Favorite leafy spinach. green. Leafy green. Lots of extra vitamins and minerals there. And what's the back for this one? And the milk's another place where if you wanted to boost the calories to help, you know, improve your energy levels, you could go for whole milk. Okay, so that's everything. We're gonna blend until very smooth. Yeah. Would you do the honors? Okay, this one. You pick. And that's it. That's it. All done. This is your glass. The color is beautiful. It looks great. This smoothie is a great snack, and if you wanted to make it a meal, you can mm -hmm. easily boost up the protein. Okay. You could add things like skim milk powder, almonds, or peanut butter. Yeah. All right, so try it out. Let us know what we did. It's very delicious. Excellent. So Yay. thank you, Helen, for joining us today and for sharing this wonderful smoothie recipe with everybody. Uh, and for even more smoothie recipes, you can always check out our YouTube channel um, and our website, elixirkitchen.ca. Thank you very much for inviting me.